285 pound classification. Joey Parada on the mat for Lexington. Do not have a name for the wrestler from Hillcrest, unfortunately. Parada has come up huge for Lexington in the playoffs. He beat uh, Miles Moultrie of Fort Dorchester to really secure that win for Lexington in the quarterfinals and then kept uh, Asa Gossett of White Knoll, the defending state champ at heavyweight, to a, a regular decision in the semifinals. So he's a good wrestler. He's a good, solid wrestler. He's a little undersized for a heavyweight, but in this case, the Hillcrest heavyweight isn't very big either, so this should be a good matchup. The Class 3A state championship went down to the wire in the final match. Now the Class 4A championship going down to the final match. Hillcrest will just try to hang on, get a decision, and win the championship. Well, then Lexington is looking for either a decision or a pinfall. If it if it ends up a Hillcrest if it ends up a Hillcrest the decision they'll win. If it ends up a Lexington decision, then we'll have to go to criteria yes. to determine the winner because there'll be a tie score. And the criteria is a little tricky. Joey Parada for Lexington in the blue. Tries to go in. Hillcrest wrestler backs away. Joey Parada going over the top of the head. The wrestler for Hillcrest. Hand fighting going on here in the 285 pound class. Yeah, it seems that neither wrestler really wants to make a mistake here and get caught underneath the other in a bad position. The pressure, I think, really is on the Hillcrest wrestler. I think he's so. He's trying too. to protect the lead and trying to protect the championship, whereas Parada, he can take some chances. Right. He knows that he's really got nothing to lose. If he's got to win the match. Hillcrest has choice. They're going to. Actually, Lexington had choice, chose bottom, and Hillcrest chose to let him get back on his feet. So now Lexington's in the lead, 1 0. Takes a shot, but Hillcrest is trying to spin behind, butt drag. Lexington does a good job of not letting them get behind for the takedown. Lexington leading one to nothing here in the second. As the Hillcrest wrestler essentially just gave that escape point. He, pr he probably felt that he didn't want to risk a reversal on top. Maybe he's not comfortable in the top position and uh, figured he'd just not waste any time and get back to his feet. But he's got to, you know, he's going to have to get a takedown here. If you're going to let the other wrestler get up without making him work for it, you better be able to take him down. Coming down to a minute remaining here in the second period. Lexington leading by one. That's what Lexington needs. Joy Parada going for a little shot there. Drops down to a knee, pops back up. Drops down again. Hillcrest wrestler is yet to make his move, and he's going to need a takedown. It looks like the Hillcrest wrestler is going to just try and uh, counter takedown. He's going to try and get the Lexington wrestler underneath him and then try and spin, but he's been warned for stalling. That's an advantage for Joy Parada and Lexington. Down to 10 seconds remaining now. Parada goes oh. low. And that, that was his game plan. He was just trying to bait Lexington and taking a poor shot where he could spin behind, and it worked for him. And right at the buzzer, too, take a 2-1 lead. And that was that little gamble that Parada took. But right. You know, credit the wrestler for Hillcrest to turn the table to his advantage as we move now into the third and final period with Hillcrest back on top now 2-1. to one. So now the onus is on Joy Parada for Lexington. And I think I think Hillcrest had choice and chose neutral again. 
what Parada has to his advantage is Hillcrest has already picked up a stall call. So if he's active, making attempted shots and, and, and driving the Hillcrest wrestler backwards, he might be able to pick up another point and tie this matchup. Parada looking for his space on the Hillcrest wrestler. Nothing doing. And I'm wondering if uh, Now the Hillcrest wrestler going for that single leg. He tried a little knee pick there to a single leg, and uh, Parada got his leg back and stopped it. That was the first offensive shot I think we've seen by the Hillcrest wrestler. Hillcrest trying to defend their state championship and repeat as 4A champions. Lexington trying to carry this championship over into criteria. Crowd on their feet, under a minute remaining. Joy Parada trailing by one. Like Charges so he, in. He's in on a single, but Hillcrest has countered him out, and they go out of bounds. And with 39 seconds left, Lexington's going to have to set up a shot here and get a takedown. He's going to have to make something happen. the hands, looking for his hole. Hillcrest is trying to maintain. He's got to be careful. He cannot get called for stalling. He would lose a point. And there's a stall there call. And there's a point to tie it up. A stall call in the final 15 seconds of the state championship is going to send this to criteria. It's going to overtime. It's going to go to overtime. That's right, I forgot we've got to go to overtime. We've got first. an overtime period here, sudden <laughs> victory. Our third overtime of this championship. Joy Parada's two points have come on the free escape. And, and, that, and that stall call. Yes. And we've seen that throughout the day where a lot of wrestlers are giving up stall calls that, you know, are determining the match. We saw that in an earlier match today where it decided a match, really. Parada lunging forward. 24 seconds. Another stall call on the Hillcrest wrestler would, would end, end this, this match. match. Right, but he just faked the shot there, so that should keep the refs appeased, and, and they should make it out of this period without the stall call, but it looks like we're going to go into the 30-second uh, ride out. So they'll flip a coin to determine who has choice first. All right, Bill, I hope you didn't have dinner plans here tonight. <laughs> We are certainly getting our bang for our buck here in this Class 4A state championship. Lexington has choice, and uh, Coach Strobel is indicating that he wants his wrestler to go on top and try and ride out the Hillcrest wrestler. And that's a big gamble, because he's going to have to keep him down for 30 seconds and not let him get a point. The Parada on top. And Hillcrest immediately nice up to his explosion. feet. If he gets his hips away, he's, he needs to get his hips away. And oh, he's got the reversal. He's got Prada in danger here. He could get the fall and end this right now. Trying to get Parada turned over. Parada fighting hard. Oh, he called an illegal move. I get I think the hand on the headlock dropped below the elbow. So that's, that's what's that going to be? A, that's a point for Lexington and Parada. Was it a two-point reversal and then a one-point for Lexington? So it should be four to three. 
four to three Hillcrest? Yeah, four to three Hillcrest. So there's a reversal and then the penalty point. Okay, so indeed Hillcrest maintains. So Hillcrest is just letting the Lexington wrestler up and giving him another point and tying up the score. I don't I, understand that. I man. don't really understand that either. Hillcrest must not feel very comfortable on top. I mean, especially when points are a premium. Yeah, that's going to be hands. I think they're just trying to calm both wrestlers down. I don't think they're going to give any kind of penalty. Seven seconds remaining. Parada goes shooting under. Now Hillcrest will have choice 30 seconds, and I'm assuming he'll choose the bottom position, try and get another escape. Oh, they're putting him on top? I think Coach Bell is signaling that he wants his wrestler on top. And with points at a, at a premium, final match of the state championship, I just don't see why you would want to give away points. Right, this is surprising. I don't, the, this is surprising choices by each wrestler, but now Hillcrest has chosen to start neutral and look for a takedown, but he hasn't scored a takedown this match, so I'm not sure what their game plan is here. That's a point for Lexington. Well, yeah. He, <laughs> he gave him another point. So he could maintain neutral position. He gave him a point. It's looking like this is going to go to a criteria decision to see who wins this uh, this team title. Very surprising decisions by uh, both coaching staffs in this final match. Parada dives in. That is time. So it looks like it looks like Lexington won. It'll be a tie score, but I it's going to go Hillcrest. to Criteria. Hillcrest must have figured out that they're going to win on Criteria. They must have because they are certainly celebrating. First Criteria. So maybe that's the That hey. must have been the game plan. Just yeah. get it over with, go to Criteria, not give up bonus. First Criteria is uh, penalty points for flagrant misconduct, but the second one is who won the mo most matches. And if so Hillcrest won more matches than Lexington in the duel, then they'll win on Criteria. So Tommy Bell knew what he was doing. He and his staff over there on the sidelines playing the numbers game. So right now, both coaches are up there with the official trying to figure out the criteria. Now I've decision. got Lexington winning seven matches, Hillcrest winning seven matches. Explain the criteria again. If Hillcrest won seven and Lexington won seven, then it will go to the next criteria, which is the team with most pins. And if that's even, then it will go to the team with most Tech falls, and if that's even, then the team with most major decisions. All right, well, if it goes, we're even on pin falls, one apiece, Tech fall goes to Hillcrest. Then Hillcrest wins on the, I think, fourth criteria. <laughs> Have you ever seen anything like it? Yeah, I was actually involved in a match uh, not too long ago that went to criteria H last year. Uh -huh. So uh, it happens, but I have not seen that happen in a uh, state final. Well, we'll get the official word here, but Hillcrest. I think they've gotten it on the tech fall criteria, and that came all the way back in the fifth match, the 132-pound contest wow. with Horgan for Hillcrest. Devin Horgan getting the tech fall over Russell Taylor. And that, that just shows you how important every single point is. In, at this level of competition. Yeah, I didn't understand, you know, giving the points away here in this last match, especially in overtime, but the coaching staff for Hillcrest obviously had the criteria down, Yeah. and they were working the numbers, and Did they knew that it was going to go back down to Tech Ball. Right, so. So, after criteria all the way down to Tech Ball, your 2012 state champion, the Hillcrest Rams. Hillcrest repeats yep. and knocks off Lexington again in what was a super championship. Technical fall criteria, Technical fall criteria wins it for Hillcrest.